Blessings of the Lord be upon you this morning. Listen, I'm not going to hold y'all long. I actually got to get out of here this morning, but I do want to do the Lord's will and do do justice as what it is that the Lord would have for us. As she said, every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m., we are here on this line, so you are more than welcome to to join us, to be a part of this. Listen, as I was in meditation this morning and just thinking about some, you know, just allowing the Lord to talk to me concerning some things, the Lord took me back for for uh, maybe a year or so. The Lord was dealing with me out of the book of Genesis because there is something about God that likes the original state, the original state of how he does something. And so in the book of Genesis, it is the beginning. Genesis means the beginning. So it is the original state and the original original intent of how God has designed for things. So I want to take the liberty and the authority that is vested in me this morning to be able to speak concerning our lives being in the original state or intent of, of what God had designed for it to be. When you look in Genesis chapter 1, what you will see right here is in verse 27, it talks about how God created man in his own image. In his own image. He did not create us in the the image of our neighbor. He did not create us in the image of our jobs. He did not create us in the in the image of our own minds, but God created us in his own image. So his original intent was that our imagery be that of him, that we look like he want us to look. So he creates man in his own image. It says, in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. I love the fact that it means that man and woman has the opportunity to look like God, to look like God, that he literally put it in perspective so as such where man, male and female could look like him. The woman can represent me as well as the man represents me. So that literally does away with everything that you hear in the in the earth right now where people are fighting against women having their rightful places in doing the will of God and being used by God. Because God created it says right here, he created male and female and gave us both the opportunity to be in his image. So I want use them both. So I wanted to put that plug out there. So it just dispels everything that's done been told. Verse 28 says this here, and God blessed them. I, I'm, I'm talking to y'all about the original intent of how God set and established for things to be. And God blessed them, it says, and God blessed them and God blessed them. So you should be walking in a life of blessing because God blessed them. This is the original intent this morning. God blessed them, it says, and God said, no man, not only did he blessed them, but God spoke and God said, be fruitful. He talks to them and says, be fruitful. So I want to talk to everything in you that's barren, everything inside of you that's not producing, every part of you, the sickness, the, the disease, the, the, the lack of, I want to talk to that because the Lord said his original intent for you was that you be fruitful. And not only that, he goes on to say, and multiply, be fruitful. So do not just produce one of it, but I want you to produce multiple parts of it. I don't want you to just have one thing. I want you to have multiple things. I don't want you to just have just, just this one single entity, but I want it to multiply and for you to have more. He says, and multiply and replenish the earth. So that means that his intent was, was that we be able to be givers. Oh, don't miss that. That we be able to be givers. That means that we are able to pour back into. God, I love you this morning. We are able to pour back in, into. So he has blessed us. Then he says, be fruitful and multiply. Father, I bless you this morning to be and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Now listen to that right there. And subdue it, which means that God's original intent was that you have authority over everything that tries tries to have authority over you. I don't think y'all hear me this morning. That you have authority over everything that tries to have authority over you. One more time for the rodeo. That you have authority over everything that tries to have authority over you. He says you subdue that thing. Good God almighty. Sickness and disease get out of here. I subdue you. Poverty, I subdue you. Mental illness, I subdue you. Oh Jesus. Lack, I subdue you. Because God has given authority for us to subdue it. It says, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, 
over every living thing that moveth upon the face of the earth. Now, give me, let me give you a plug for a second. Now, most people will understand that and they're fine with that. But when it gets to the point of having authority over demons, I don't know why it is that people tend to want to cower down when it comes to having authority over demonic forces. Now, listen, it means that we have authority even over demonic forces. Right now, I take authority and tell hell to go to hell. Right now. Now, I have authority and is using it to tell hell to go to hell. Hell, go to hell. That's what you do. Hell, go to hell. Sickness, go to hell. Disease, go to hell. Poverty, go to hell. Tell hell to go to hell. For some reason, we'll think that we can take uh, wild animals. Uh, I did. A, I went to the school and listened to the kids this week. They did a debate on whether people should be able to have exotic animals at home and all meaning like lions and tigers and all these different things. So they had to debate whether they should or whether they shouldn't. Now it is something to me how man wants to have the ability to tame these things. But when it comes to a demonic force coming in their life, they get scared and want to cower down. Father, I bless you this morning. I love you, man. Literally want to cower down when it comes to that type thing. They want to take uh, I fight lion, tigers, and bears they'll say. But then when the day devil comes and brings some type of sickness. He's, oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I can't make it. Oh, I ain't going to be able to do it. But can literally go after lions and tigers and bears. Well, I need to tell you this morning, just in case you don't know, you have authority over demonic spirits as well. You have the authority to tell demonic spirits that come from hell uh, to go back to hell. Please understand they did not come from heaven. They come from hell. They were cast out out of heaven and placed into a, a place of torment, which will be the place that they will forever be in eternity, but they have authority to move upon the earth for a season of time. But you have authority to tell them where you were sent to go back to. Where you were sent to go back to. Get away from here. So there is literally dominion over these things. And then verse 29 says here, And God said, Behold, I have given you. Okay, y'all don't miss that. Behold, I have given you. I'm in Genesis 1 verse 29 now. Behold, I have given you, he says. Who is the you, Delphine? I have given you every herb bearing seed. Please don't miss that right there. Every herb bearing seed, which means seed. Now, uh, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, as long as the earth remain, so shall seed time and harvest is what it says. And so everything comes in the form of a seed. That's why if you do good, good will come back to you. If you do bad, bad will come back to you because it is about sowing seed. And so the Lord said, I have given you every herb that bears seed. Oh God, every ability in this earth to bear seed the Lord has given it to us, which is upon the face of all the earth. I just told you everything upon the face of the earth that has the ability to reproduce their thing. Everything that has the ability to reproduce. God has given you authority over that thing. You have the, oh Jesus Christ. I know you're looking like your back is up against the wall, but baby, let me tell you something. Every time their thing backs get up against the wall, I scratch it. That's what I use it for. I use it as a back scratcher because cause, I understand that all I need to do is figure out where the seed is. Okay, what seed is in me? What is it that I can do? Let me show y'all something. There was a situation in the Bible where there was a woman and a son and literally the man of God goes by there and he speaks to the woman and asks her, says, look, what's your situation? What's going on with you? Her back was against the wall. Like the song say, dance, come on. What you going to do when you're back up against the wall? dance. Come on, he says to her, what you gonna do? And this is what she says, I got nothing but just a little flour and just a little oil and I'm gonna bake a cake and me and my son gonna eat this cake and we gonna die. Well, the prophet turns and tells to her, say, I tell you what you do. You go ahead and bake the cake, but I want you to give me the cake first. There go your seed. I want you to give me the cake. Oh, y'all don't, y'all don't miss it. I want you to give me the cake first. I want you to take what you think is about 
about to kill you. And I want you to get out of here this morning and take your butt to that school. Listen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to use that that you are demon that you're going to die with. But I want you to now turn it to a seed. God help me. Uh, yeah, somebody better hear me this morning. I want you to take that what you deem you about to die with. Uh, uh, this is the last $2. Uh, I'm not going to lose, baby. Listen, put them last $2 in the ground so that they can come forth with an abundance of harvest. All it takes is one seed to bear a whole tree. Uh, you done missed it. All it takes is one seed to bear a whole tree. Uh, Jesus, I'm going to tell you one more time. All it takes is one seed to bear a whole tree, Jesus Christ. Uh, so he literally tells her, give it to me first. Uh, and when she gave it to him, the Bible says uh, that they did not run out anymore. Lord, have mercy. You better understand that God has given you according to what he says. He's given you herb bearing seed. God pray. Lord, help me this morning. He's given you herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth. That means it says all the earth so that means God got us covered. I wish somebody heard me this morning. God got us covered. It says all the earth so there is no corner you can put Delphine. Don't do this. There is no corner you can put Delphine in. There is no situation that you can put Delphine in because the Lord has literally given me seed upon all the earth. There is some situation. Uh, Jesus Christ I can come out by my seed. Uh, Jesus Christ I can come out. I'm going to tell y'all again. I'm going to come out by my seed. That's what's going to get me out. I'm going to come out by my seed. Wait wait a minute. Y'all don't see the situation she in? Yeah, you see it, but watch me come out with this seed right here. Watch me come out because I'm about to do something, uh, Jesus Christ, that is going to bring me out. Uh, it says, and listen, this is what he says here, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree, he says, and in, and in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat. I wish y'all would hear the Holy Ghost this morning. The Lord says your seed is your meat. Uh, God help me this morning. I got to go, but I got to do this. Uh, okay, listen to me. The very thing that you're trying to hold, that's what's keeping you locked up. Because if you would release it as a seed, the Bible says that it will become meat for you. You better look at what Genesis 1 and 29 is saying. Uh, oh God, Lord have mercy. Look at what it's saying. The very thing that you are wanting to keep, Jesus Christ, Christ, uh, uh, it release that thing as a seed and watch it become meat for you. Wait a minute, my seed going to become meat? Yeah, that means you're going to be full. Uh, that means that it is going to supply for you. Good God almighty. But wait a minute, God, all I got is these last $2. You better turn it into seed. I'm trying to tell you, you better turn it into seed. Well, Lord, I've been sitting here and I don't want to give myself to nobody. I done been hurt before. You better turn it into seed. Uh, Jesus Christ, help me, please. Uh, you better turn it into seed. Well, God, I can't trust nobody. You better turn it into seed of uh, Jesus Christ and put it into the earth. Trust somebody again, uh, literally so that it can come back as a harvest for you and to open you back up. God help me this morning. So this is what the Lord wants to do is bring us to the original intent of how he had set for things to be for us. The original intent by the authority that is vested on the inside of me and I have authority and I know that I have authority because this morning when I rose, I didn't have no doubt not now bit. Now doubt that God would hear me. Uh, Lord have mercy. I even stand in the authority to say what Jesus said and when it talked about Lazarus in Luke 4, Jesus began to pray to the Father and said these words. He says, Father, I know that thy hearing with me always. Baby, y'all better understand that Delphine knows uh, that the Father heareth her always. Uh, when I'm speaking good, the Father heareth me. Uh, when I'm speaking negative, the Father heareth me. The Father heareth me always. But this petition today is about us being in the original state of where God had designed for us to be. The original intent of what God had purposed for us. Uh, for one, we were created in his own image. Uh-uh. Uh I don't want you to look like what the people said about you. I take authority against that right now for every word that's been spoke against your life that is not of, of the will of God, that is not of the purpose and plan of God. I take authority against that right now because you were made in God's own image. You were not made in the image of what they say about your family. Well, you know, all of them do such and such whatever, baby. Uh-uh, honey. No, no, no. Not all of them, baby. Not this one right here, sweetie. Because I'm made in the 
image and in the likeness of God. He created me, yeah, for me to look like him. And then it says he blessed them. So I'm speaking to the blessings upon your life. May the blessings of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow. Uh, Jesus, uh, may you be highly favored and blessed of the Lord. Uh, blessed in your city and blessed in your field. Blessed when you come and surely blessed when you go. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Listen, I need to say that one more time. Bless when you come, when you show up in a place uh, and bless even the more when you leave a place. Uh, uh, because some of you are scared about leaving a place. Uh, but baby, can I tell you this morning, be blessed in your departure. Uh, uh, be blessed in your departure. Uh, listen, throw up the two fingers and tell them, uh, I think I better let it go. Uh, throw up the two fingers and tell them, let's just kiss uh, and say a goodbye. I'm blessed when I leave up out of here, baby. Uh -huh, just as sure as I came in, bless her. Uh, I'm about to get out of here, blessed. Uh, watch this thing right here, because I'm blessed, uh, baby. I am blessed of the Lord. And it says to them, be fruitful and multiply. I decree that over you, that your fruitfulness is upon you in this season and that you shall multiply. You shall increase. I say to you that you are not uh, the product of your circumstances. No, you're not. Uh, you're not the product of your situations. No, you're not. Uh, but you are literally made in the image of God and you are blessed uh, of oh, oh God and you shall be fruitful and multiply. God help me. Uh, and you shall be able to replenish the earth, which means uh, that you're going to make a difference in the earth. So that means uh, that I speak to your purpose right now and call your purpose up out of you right now. Uh, oh yeah, it's on. Uh, I call your purpose up out of you right now and also begin to say uh, not only that, uh, but literally that you have uh, the authority su to subdue everything that's trying to subdue you. Uh, what you've been running from, stop running. Uh, oh, Jesus, and face it off. Uh, what you've been trying to hide from, stop hiding uh, and face it off. Uh, you have authority, Lord Jesus, to subdue. God help me. I got to get out of here, y'all. You have authority to subdue it. Uh, you literally, and I decree that over you uh, this morning. I say that is your portion uh, this morning. I say that uh, is your portion this morning. Uh, you have dominion over everything. Uh, you are walking in the authority of who God, Lord help me, has called you to be and you shall do uh, what it is that God, God help me, has purpose for you to do. You shall literally be the light uh, in the midst of darkness. You shall be uh, the city that is set up on a hill which cannot be hid. Uh, you literally, God, uh, move in the power and the authority of God. Uh, you are no longer as children, uh, uh, tossed to and fro, good God, carried by every wind of doctrine. No, you are stable. Uh, I speak stability to you right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I speak stability to you right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and the weapons may form, because the weapons may form. Uh, that is the one thing we can't stop. Uh, the weapons may form. Uh, oh God, the Lord then promised they shall not prosper. Uh, oh God, Lord, have mercy. Uh, so that lets you know that you can't get rid of your enemies. Uh, as much as you would like to, uh, you can't get rid of your enemies, unfortunately. Uh, their weapons are going to form, uh, but the promise to us uh, is that it shall not, oh God, uh, I say it shall not, Lord Jesus, uh, it shall not prosper. Uh, and every tongue that speaks against you, it shall be condemned, oh God. I'm reminded in the Bible where uh, the Lord said every time that the man opened his mouth to curse the people, he had to speak a blessing to the people. How about this morning I speak that uh, over us? Uh, everybody that attempts to curse us, Lord Jesus, uh, uh, may their mouth have to turn to bless us. God help me. Uh, I say this morning uh, uh, that a lot of my help is going to come from those uh, that did not believe in me. Delphine, get out of here. Uh, you got to go, girl. Let it go. Uh, listen, my help is going to come from those uh, uh, that refuse Jesus Christ. Uh, all of those that said, oh, no, she'll never make it. Uh, they're going to help me make it. Uh, the ones that said she'll never amount to anything. Uh, uh, they're going to be the ones to let me stand on their shoulders and boost me up. Uh, I got to get out of here this morning, y'all. Uh, I got to go this morning. I bid you, God. Uh, I bid you the peace of the Lord. Uh, I bid you the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Uh, our God, may the righteousness of the Lord uh, continue to be our portion. Father, uh, I love you on today. Whatever prayer request came in, I set myself uh, in agreement with the 
those requests. And I thank you, Father, for being the great I am. I, I, I thank you for being mighty, for being magnificent. God, I thank you for it. God, I heard prayer requests about sickness. And you already know I dedicated myself for three days to stand in about sickness. And so, Father, I thank you that all sickness and disease, everything that's causing discomfort, has to go back to the pits of hell. And I decree that we be restored to the original state, to the original intent of how you set things to be. Lord, I thank you that this day, whoa, is good. I thank you that this is a day that the Lord have made. You made it, man. I love you, Father. This is a day that the Lord have made. It is a day that we are willing to rejoice and literally being glad in it. We thank you that our help comes from you as we gaze and look to the hills from which all of our help comes. We thank you that it comes from you, Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. We thank you for Psalms 24, which says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein, we are they. So we are dwelling therein, and we are, God, those of the chosen people, the royal priesthood. We are those, Father, of whom you chose, whom you love, whom you redeem. We are those, Father, and so we thank you all today. Continue to be great unto your people. Until the next time that we meet, God, may you keep us, Lord. May you continue to perfect us. May you continue to develop us, and we say thank you from our hearts unto you. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I love y'all. Have a wonderful and blessed day. We'll catch y'all on this line next Tuesday at 7 a.m. I love y'all. Goodbye. Rusheba.